So now you want to find the mean, the median, and the mode of data in a frequency table. Now don't worry too much about these columns. I've added a couple more because I'm going to need them. I have my, I have my frequency table. Scores, X is the accepted letter for scores, and frequency, F is the normal accepted letter for frequency. Well, the easiest one is the mode. Which one is most common? The one with the highest frequency? The mode is 6. That was too easy. But what about the mean? For the mean, my formula says x bar, the mean, is the sum of the scores divided by the number of scores. So, should I just go 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 divided by 5 for the 5 scores? Well, if I did, I'd be incorrect. Why? Well, because this is actually shorthand. It's not 4 and 5 and 6 and 7 and 8, one of each. Because there's actually two fives and five sixes and four sevens and three eights. So to get the mean, to add up the scores, I'm actually going to have to go four plus five plus five plus six plus six plus six plus six plus six plus seven. Is there an easier way? Well, of course there is. What I'm actually need to do, what I actually need to do is multiply these two. Because then I'll get 1, 4, 2 fives, which is 10, 5 sixes, which is 30, and I can add those up and get there quicker. And how many scores are there? Well, there are five, because there's one four, but there's two fives, making three, and then five sixes, making eight, and so on. So let's do that. First, let's go this way first. The frequency times the score. There was one four, adding to four. There were two fives, adding to 10. There were five sixes, adding to 30. There were four sevens, 28, and three eights, 24. So in fact, the total of the scores, which we're actually gonna write as sigma fx, rather than just sigma x. Okay, sigma fx is four plus 10 is 14, 44, 54, 64, 60, no, 72, 92, 96. I'm going to need my calculator in a moment anyway. And then, how many scores are there? Hang on, let me write the 96. How many scores are there? There are five of them. There are, in fact, the sum of the frequencies, which is 3 and 5 is 8, 12, 15. So, to get my mean, I have to get 96 divided by 15. Not these added up divided by 5, because this is a shorthand. It's actually 4, 5, 5, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, and so on. So to add the scores, I'm actually going to multiply first, make my job easier, and then add those up, and then do my division. Just let me get my calculator. Okay, let's do it. 96 divided by 15 is 6.4. Double check. Does that sound like a reasonable mean for this data? Yes, it does. So for the mean, the normal formula is sum of the scores divided by number of the scores. We're still doing that, but to find the sum of the scores, we're going to do a multiplication here. And to find the number of scores, I'm actually going to add the frequencies. That's the mean. Okay, what about the median? Well, remember the formula. The median 
is the n plus 1 over tooth oops, score. So think carefully through what you're doing. How many scores are there? There's not 5, there's actually 15. So it's the 15 plus 1 over tooth score, which is 16 to 1 by 2, the 8th score. Okay, where am I going to find the 8th score? That's a bit tricky, isn't it? So what we're going to do is add yet one more column, and that column is cumulative frequency. Sometimes we abbreviate that, just CF, because we're lazy. But the word cumulative means you accumulate. You add the frequency as you go. Now be careful. If you've just calculated the mean, you've got an FX column here. But you don't want to add these up. You want to add the frequency. So I go, how many scores have I seen so far? Just one. Now I've seen another two. That makes three. Now I've seen another five, that makes eight. Now I've seen another four, that makes 12. And now I've seen the last three, that makes 15. And you can double check that those numbers are the same. I see that again. How many scores have I seen so far? One. Now I've got one plus another two. Now I've got three plus another five. Now I've got 8 plus another 4, and finally 12 plus another 3. And double check that you get the same number you expected. Okay, so if I was going in sorted order, and I wanted to find the 8th score, have I seen it yet? No. Have I seen it yet? No. Aha! The 8th score is 6. The 8th score is 6. Okay, what if I had an odd number? Let's change what I've got just a little bit. So, suppose I actually had four eights instead of three. I'm actually just going to ignore that because it won't be correct and I, I don't really care at this point. I'm just going to ignore that for the moment. I'm interested in the median. So now I've got, these numbers are the same, but this is now going to be 16. The sum of the scores is now 16. So my formula for median says I'm looking for the 16 plus 1 over tooth score which is the eight and a half score. Okay, let's have another look at our table. Cumulative frequency, I'm looking for halfway between the eighth score and the ninth score. Well, the eighth score is here, and the ninth score is actually on the next row, isn't it? Because I've only got eight scores so far, the ninth score is a seven. So it's halfway between the 6 and the 7, which is 6.5. Remember, the formula tells me the position of the median. And I look through now with my cumulative frequency column to find what the actual median is. In this case, 8.5, halfway between the 8th score and the 9th score. Halfway between a 6 and a 7. Remember, this is shorthand. The scores are actually written out in order. Um, sorry, I'm on this row. 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 7, 7, 7, 7. So in fact, the median is halfway between a 6 and a 7. Making it 6.5. So here's another example. A frequency table where we have to calculate the mean, the median and the mode. Again, I've already drawn out a couple of extra columns because I know I'm going to need them. Let's do the mode first, because it's the easiest. The mode is the most common score. Which of these has the highest frequency? 
this one, four. The mode is four. Very easy. Let's try the mean. The mean, which we write as x bar, I mean, the formula says it's the sum of the scores divided by the number of scores. But in this case, pardon me, in this case, I don't just want to go 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 and divide by 6. That would not be right. Because in fact there's 3 3s and 6 4s and 5 5s and so on. So I actually am going to have to do some multiplying and then add up that. I'm actually going to use the other formula, sigma fx divided by sigma f. Okay, let's do that. Frequency times score, three threes are nine, six fours are twenty-four, five fives are twenty-five, two sixes are twelve, three sevens are twenty-one, and two eights are sixteen. I'm going to grab my calculator this time. 9, 24, 25, 12, 21, 16. The sum of fx is 107. And how many scores are there? The sum of the frequencies. 3 and 6 is 9. And 5 is 14, 16, 19, 21. The sum of the frequencies is 21. Okay, so my mean is going to be 107 divided by 21. Calculator again. My mean is 5.095 and so on. How much do I want? Well, I'm not sure. Probably more than two digits is too much. I could round it off to 5.10. Because if this is more than 5, then I have to round this number up to 10. Okay? That's my mean. Okay, what about the median? Well, the formula says n plus 1 over 2. That's a bit bigger. The formula says it's the n plus 1 over 2 score. Well, so there are 21 scores, not 6, 21 of them. That means I want the 21 plus 1 over tooth score. Okay, 22 divided by 2 is the 11th score. How am I going to find the 11th score? Oh, I know, I'll use a cumulative frequency column. Add up the frequencies I go. Three so far. Then I've got six fours, so I see another six scores, making me see nine. So then I see another five, they're all fives, I get to 14. I see another two, 16. Another three, 19. And another two, 21. Double check that this number is the same as that number. That helps you avoid the mistake of adding these instead of the frequency. Okay? This plus the next frequency plus the next frequency. Okay? The 11th score, not here yet, not here yet. Ah, the 11th score is on this row, which means it's a 5. Remember, this is shorthand. The 11th score is a 5. And there you are.